today's session. Thank you all for joining us as we explore the exciting field of psychology and human resource management and how this degree can propel your career forward. In today's dynamic workplace, understanding human behavior and effectively managing human resource is critical for organizational success. Today, we'll dive into the realm of psychology and human resource management and discuss the benefits and opportunities that an MS degree in this field can offer. So besides the degree, choosing the right university for pursuing an MS in psychology and HRM is crucial for your educational and career development. Some of the reasons to pursue an MS at Bahia University include expert faculty, strong industry connections, and a key emphasis on overall development of the students. For further information, we encourage you to reach out to Bahia University, explore the program, speak with the faculty or alumni, and evaluate how this program aligns with your career goals and aspirations. This webinar will provide you with a glimpse into the MS program offered at Bahia University. Our esteemed panelists will shed light on curriculum, unique features, and opportunities that make the MS program at Bahia University stand out. So without further ado, let me introduce you to our esteemed panelists for today's webinar. We are honored to have them with us today. Our first panelist is Dr. Sana Arus. She's an assistant professor at Bahia Business School. Her expertise spans the domain of HRM and organizational development, behavior modification, along with stress management and emotional intelligence. Her expertise will undoubtedly enrich our understanding of the MS program in psychology and HRM. Our second panelist is Dr. Fasila Fasood. She's also an assistant professor at BBS. Her expertise spans the domain of well-being, soft HRM, quality of life, social entrepreneurship, and engagement. We are delighted to have Dr. Fazilat with us today. The intertwining of psychology and human resource management creates a powerful synergy that enables organizations to understand and effectively manage their most valuable asset, the human capital. Speaking of human capital, Dr. Sana, can you please elaborate on the interplay between human resource management and psychology and how they influence each other within organizational context? Sure, Sobia. Those students who are looking forward to uh, get enrolled into this program of MSHRM and organizational psychology need to understand that why this blended or hybrid program is being offered to them. Speaking of organizational psychology, it has its roots in HRM and psychology. So those uh, HR personnel who are working in the corporate world as a practitioner, they are actually, uh, their job is to manage people. And you won't be able to manage your people effectively and optimize their human behavior unless and until you do not understand how the human mind operates. So I can explain this with a very simple example. We have different functions of HRM, which we very commonly understand, just like the recruitment process, training and development, uh, performance management, reward. These are all of the functions which HRM typically does in any uh, progressive organization. But how do they work? What is the psychological me mechanism behind that? So for that, I would uh, share one example, a very simple example of a recruitment process. Speaking of recruitment process, recruitment process actually uh, is a simple process of hiring people. It is not as simple as we believe. What actually happens over here is that we need to conduct psychological assessments of the candidates. And this is when it helps us to understand the cognitive abilities of the candidate. And then we are able to find out the right person at the right position. So can you see over here, we are taking two different domains and getting one output. One domain is the function of HRM, that is recruitment, and the process comes from psychology. So this is how the HRM operates, where it is relying upon the psychological foundation and the psychological theory. So this is how we look into the interplay of these two subjects. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Sanal, for such an extensive elaboration. Uh, Dr. Fazilat Masood, what are the key factors that prospective students should consider when choosing MS, HRM, and organizational psychology at Bahia? Thank you so much for asking such an important question. Okay, when we are talking about the factors that can play uh, their part when we are deciding about the MS degree program, I would like to highlight my understanding of the things from two aspects. The one is the actor and the other one is the environment. 
if you talk about the actors in this particular MS degree program, we have two uh, key factors. One is the student themselves, and the other one is the faculty who are going to uh, facilitate them in the process. Now, the students, the factor that they need to bear in mind, the first and foremost, is their own personal interest and career aspiration that they wish to uh, proceed with in their career. For example, there is a BS uh, psychology student who enrolls in this MSHRM and organizational psychology program. Now in their ML, uh, BS program, they have uh, learned about the therapeutic treatments or maybe the counseling sessions and different therapies. Now, when we talk about the organizational science or organizational structure, this particular degree program is going to help them understand how their psychology understanding can be applied to an organizational setting and people who are working in that particular environment. So this uh, particular program can help them uh, further explore that what kind of career they can take ahead from this particular degree onwards. The second important factor that students need to bear in mind is their own uh, lifestyle that they like to uh, carry on and the degree format program format that we have here at Beria University. Normally, when we see the uh, intake of students in this particular program, the students that are coming uh, for induction in this program, they come from either they have full-time job or they are managing their own business, they are working part-time or they have full-time family responsibility. So having these different uh, dynamics of the work responsibilities, personal life uh, and the professional along with that, having a qualification, an additional degree program as a responsibility, they require some kind of balance in this. So a key point that I would like to highlight here from the Beria University perspective is that here we uh, offer this MSHRM organizational psychology program in the evening so we have a lot of students who normally uh, are coming from their nine to five job and then they come for the uh, studies here at Beria University. And then from the student perspective, another important point that I would like to highlight when they are considering their enrollment in this MS degree program is their eligibility criteria. Uh, and the degree requirements. Uh, according to the HEC policy in Beria University, when students are applying for this MSHRM and organizational psychology program, they need to ensure that they have at least 16 years of HEI education from HEC recognized institute. And if we talk about their academic background, the bachelor degrees or the master degree that they have obtained previously, they need to have at least a 2.5 CGPA maintained in their programs. Uh, if we talk about the discipline from which uh, the students Students can come from which background they have uh, completed their past 16 years and they are more likely to be more suitable to this particular degree program. So students from the management sciences, students coming from the psychology background, social psychology or social sciences background or business administration program, they are more suitable to this particular degree program. Now if I come towards the second actor, uh, that is the faculty. Now, if we talk about at the MS level education, uh, the student expect the uh, quality of uh, teaching or instructions from their instructors and their academic background, uh, their um, expertise uh, in terms of research and academia, they matter a lot. If we talk about here uh, in particular at Beria University, I'm, I feel honored to share this thing that the fraternity here we have for this particular program, they are uh, coming from a PhD degrees, uh, which are not only from the foreign qualified uh, reputable institute, but also locally national HEC recognized institutes. Uh, and they are very cooperative, very supportive when it uh, comes to the academic knowledge sharing or the research uh, collaborations. So student access to faculty is very conducive here at the university. Now coming towards the other half of the factor uh, that we are talking about, and that's the environment. Now, in this particular reference, we are talking from the Beria University perspective. So the environment, learning environment for MSHRM and organizational psychology here, I would say the on-campus facilities are very conducive and very supportive. We have a dedicated PGP research lab here uh, where students can carry out their uh, research work. They can come and have discussions with their supervisors or they can have uh, their group projects work. They can sit there and work. We also have library parks that can be uh, uh, you know, um, taken by uh, students. Uh, they have a, lot, a slot system there to say they can uh, work there as well. Then we have the library, which uh, actually facilitates our students in terms of access to e-resources and physical resources. So uh, since this degree program uh, encourages students towards the research stream as well, so the library provides resources 
uh, in terms of textbook publications, periodicals, journals, magazines, and a lot of other uh, resources that we have to access uh, published information uh, that is available here. So these are the factors that I think students need to bear in mind when they are exchanging their information at this particular program. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Fazilat, for truly enlightening us. I think the audience now can make very informed decision about their educational journey. Uh, Dr. Sena, what is the anticipated time framework uh, for uh, completing the MSHRM and Organizational Psychology program? And could you outline the key milestones and coursework involved throughout the program? Uh, the normal uh, duration which is required to complete this MS degree is two years with uh, almost 36 credit hours and spanning over four semesters. You'll be supposed to cover your coursework, and you also you would be also asked to uh, do an internship. So we are actually offering an internship course as well, so that the students can understand how the real-time practices of HR takes place, and they can actually get to learn how interviews are conducted, how different HR implications work. And uh, your uh, thesis will conclude uh, with the submission of your research thesis. And for that, we offer a course which is called Research Methods, and uh, where we try to give students insight into how you are able to analyze the research problems in the society and how you can collect data. We also offer different uh, practices of softwares through which you can do some data analysis so that can eventually happen and you can eventually uh, complete your thesis with that. So to cut it short, we have two ways to complete this degree. So I would like to add Sana has already explained uh, very thoroughly about the coursework that we have for this particular degree program. Now, if we talk about the flavors of courses that we have here to offer for to our potential MSHRM and organizational psychology students, uh, the theme uh, that we normally follow is that in their coursework, we have uh, core courses and elective courses. So when we talk about the course co core courses, theoretical courses that students are going to take, uh, they may include, for example, organizational psychology and psychometrics. We have courses on the contemporary issues and HRM and practices. We also uh, offer theoretical understanding of the applied uh, aptitude and psychometrics. Uh, and if we talk about the electives, we have a list uh, which is all, also available in the roadmap to the students. They can access it on the official website of the university as well and in their prospects. If we talk about the electives from which students can pick out uh, that which further specializations they are going to go on with, uh, they include, for example, seminars in the person uh, organizational development, leadership issues in organizations, and we also have uh, elective courses on the employment laws and labor issues as well. OK, okay. So if we sum up, then uh, the uh, MS, HRM, and organizational psychology is indeed a comprehensive course, which cater uh, the students from diverse backgrounds. Uh, Dr. Sana, knowing about the financial consideration associated with the MS program will help the audience to make informed decisions about financial planning and to explore any available scholarships or financial aid options. On average, how much investment is required for MS, HRM, and organizational psychology program? And are there any scholarships or financial assistance programs available for the students. Important question for students to understand that what is going to be the free fee structure for us. Uh, we at Behe University are very much cognizant of the fact of the economy and the inflation which is going on. So considering that uh, the fee structure which we are offering at uh, for this program is reasonable but at the same time competitive and being considered towards students who might have some financial issues we are offering scholarships we have two types of scholarships one is uh, merit-based and the other one is lead-based scholarship for these scholarships we have a due process uh, in place and the students can always access our website and visit our office to see uh, how they can avail these scholarships Okay, so Peria University offers a scholarship and for further information, you can visit our website uh, to explore uh, the in-depth uh, about need-based and uh, merit scholarships. Uh, Dr. Fazilat, for uh, prospective students uh, preparing for the MS program in HRM and psychology, it would be helpful to understand the details of computer-based tests. What can students expect in terms of test structure, duration, and subjects covered? 
important question, in fact. Uh, when we uh, talk about the MSHRM and organizational psychology program here at Beria University, we have uh, students have a choice. They can either go with GMAT journal or the CBT. If they are going with either of two, uh, they have to ensure that at least 50% marks they have secured in that. Now, if we talk about the CBT at Beria University, the structure is very simple. It's the 100 MCQ based uh, question uh, um, test. Here. And in that, we have three uh, main areas on which the student aptitude is assessed as we normally do for the undergraduate. So at MS level, the CBT is comprised of uh, MCQs related to their verbal reasoning, their quantitative reasoning, and their analytical reasoning. So in total, the duration for CBT here is two hours. Okay, so basically- It is uh, composed of verbal, quantitative, and analytical reasoning. Very well. Uh, Dr. Sana Rus, can you uh, discuss the versatility of MS program in HRM and psychology in terms of career options? Are there any niche roles or emerging job opportunities that graduates with this educational background can explore? questions which is often asked from us as being part of this academic program because most of the students we feel that they're confused and they want to know where my jobs are so for that there's a very simple way to understand that after i pursue this degree or what are the career options so we have very viable career options uh, after you pursue this degree one thing i would like to add is that this degree or this subject area is not only the demand of our uh, country or region globally it is a very uh, well-known degree and it is pretty much in demand. Okay, I would like to explain it to those who are looking forward to this degree in a very simple way. Uh, look up into the broader umbrella of HRM. So then you have to see that, where can I find my jobs? Starting from uh, an OD specialist, which we call an organization development specialist. If an organization is looking for change, they are looking for revamping or they are restructuring, which much of the organizations in this era are actually doing, then this is a place where you can land a good opportunity as a behavior modification consultant, as a change agent. So you can help them in the restructuring. Then you can uh, definitely be a talent specialist where you're supposed to manage the talent. And then as a recruitment assessment um, agent, you can work, you can work remotely with uh, different global recruitment centers and with headhunters uh, for the training and development. You can get into that area because if you have a better understanding of people, you will be able to uh, better design the training for those people. So there are lots of areas which are interlinked with HR. You can also be um, a psychology can be on a panel of psychological assessment where you're actually assessing people for their behavioral attributes. So there are lots of avenues. We need such people in different educational centers. We need them as career counselors. So there are lots of avenues which the students can explore and discover and definitely opt for as a career option for them. So, uh, which means that students will have a diverse job opportunities mm -hmm. after having uh, this degree. This brings us towards the end of this webinar. But before we conclude, I'd like to express my gratitude to our esteemed panelists and special thanks to Mr. Sajid Mahmood for his technical support. Today, we explored the intertwined nature of psychology and human resource management, highlighting how these disciplines complement each other in workplace. Remember, this webinar is just a glimpse into the vast possibilities and benefits that this program offers. We encourage you to further explore the resources and information available at Beria's website to make informed decisions about your educational journey. This is Sobia Murtaza signing off. Take care and Allah Hafiz.